This video is brought to you by Ultium Designer. In today's episode, we are going to make the world's most secure GSM based home automation system using Arduino and some 900A GSM module. If I use a simple command like this, then anyone can control the home appliances or other highly sensitive loads using their cell phones because there is no check who is sending the control command. An automation system like this is useless if it has no security. So I came up with an idea of adding a password in the control command. This password can consist of letters, numbers and special characters. Without a password, nobody would be able to control anything because each time you want to turn on or turn off a specific load, you will have to enter the password. You can set an extremely strong password and then nobody would be able to control anything. This is the type of GSM based home automation system that you can totally rely on. Let me demonstrate this for you. For the demonstration purposes, I have selected ABC123 as the password. Next, I'm going to select the load. Then 1R0 is a control signal to turn on or turn off that load. You might have noticed I used percentage sign. I'm doing this because when the Arduino receives this message, then the Arduino can easily split this message using percentage sign is the delimiter. Anyway, the message is ready and I'm going to send it to the Arduino. This is amazing, isn't it? Now to turn off the same load, I will have to type the same control command, but this time I'm going to send zero as the control signal to turn off the load one. In the same way I can control load 2 and let me also tell you instead of writing load 1 and load 2 you can also write the load names bulb 1, bulb 2 etc. Now if I'm going to type a wrong password nothing is going to happen. I also have this electronic dot lock connected to the Arduino and to control this lock I'm using the same password. But this time instead of using load as the name, I'm using the name lock and 1R0 to open or close the electronic door lock. Anyway, I'm going to send this message and let's see if it's going to open the door lock. Great, I'm also able to control the electronic lock now you can also build yourself the most highly secured locker. There are more than a million ways you can use this idea. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. This is the GSM 7900A module. The first thing you will notice about this GSM module is that it has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltage. Because voltages greater than 5 volts can easily damage this module. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volts, but you can easily power up this GSM 7900A module using a 5 volt and 2 amps adapter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter, then you can make yourself this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. I have a detailed video on how to build yourself this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. There are a few things that I really like about this GSM 7900A module, which are this is the cheapest GSM module available on the market. Another cool thing is it can be easily interfaced with 5 volt supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano, etc and also with 3.3 volt controller boards like node mco esp8266 wi-fi module and esp32 etc the gsm 7900a module interfacing with node mco esp8266 and esp32 i have already explained in my previous videos anyway i have also a detailed article on the gsm 7900a module explaining its key features functional diagram pins description its applications how to use it 
it spin out and 80 commands so i highly recommend you guys should read this article on the gsm 900a module now let's go ahead and take a look at the connections as usual i'm using my arduino nano and lora based development board this development board has the advantage of having this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply which is more than enough to power up the arduino and the gsm module this development board also has these 5 volt SPRT type relays so this development board is ideal for testing this project and for now forget about this LoRa module and the 5 volt buzzer only concentrate on the connections I'm going to explain connect the power supply pins of the GSM 7900A module to the Arduino VN and ground pins which are connected to the regular 5 volt and 3 amps power supply Connect the TXT 5 volt pin of the GSM 7900A module to the Arduino digital pin D9 and connect the RXT 5 volt pin to the Arduino digital pin D10. These relays are connected to the Arduino digital pins 4, 5, 6 and 7. So that's all about the connections and if you have missed anything then you can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. Ultim Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultim Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultim Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Easily work together with your mechanical team and forget about the days of swapping design files. Every design change stays in sync between Ultium Designer and SolidWorks, PTC Crew, Autodesk Inventor, Autodesk Fusion 360 or Siemens NX. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. One of the best things about Ultium Designer is that you can share your designs with your team members using Ultium 365. They can check your design, leave comments and if there are any issues, they can fix them from anywhere in the world. Ultium Designer also uses the world's fastest company search engine, Octopart, so you won't have any difficulty in searching for components. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I started off by adding the software serial.h header file. With the help of this library, I can define multiple serial ports. As you can see using the software serial, I have defined another serial port using the Arduino pins 9 and 10. I could also connect the GSM module to the Arduino default serial port, but I used it for the debugging purposes. Four relays are connected to the Arduino pins 4, 5, 6 and 7. I also defined a variable passcode of the type string so that I can use a combination of letters, numbers and characters. So my password is ABC123. If I want to change my password, then I can simply change this passcode over here. I also defined a variable for storing the message. Code in the white setup function is exactly the same as used in my previous GSM based security system. So let's go to the loop function. We simply check if a message is received then store the entire string message in the variable incoming and then using the percent sign is the delimiter we split the message and store the corresponding values and variables password load and load status and then i have defined multiple conditions to turn on and turn off the desired loads the get value function is used to split the message using any character as the delimiter so that's all about the programming I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the Arduino and GSM module based home automation system in action.
Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.